The early mornings can be demanding. Before my day even starts, I have to put myself and my CF care first. I have to get in my exercise before work, eating nearly two breakfasts, doing my nebs, lung clearance, taking my vitamins, working out my crayon, and prep for the day ahead. I try my best to stay organized, but sometimes it's not easy. Sometimes it feels like a lot to remember when I'm going in for my checkups or annual reviews. But I know if I need help, I can rely on my CF team. As a result of CF, the body finds it hard absorbing all of the energy and vitamins from food. This is because the pancreas can no longer produce enzymes. These enzymes are needed to break down food into smaller particles, making it easy for the body to absorb it. Therefore, it is really important to think about the food that is eaten so the body has a greater chance of absorbing the nutrition. Enzyme tablets are taken to help the body with this process. It is important to think of your enzymes when you are choosing fatty foods. If enough enzymes aren't taken, it can cause stomach cramps, pain, bloat or watery stools that are pale and float in the toilet. Even without these symptoms, not enough enzymes can affect your weight and vitamin absorption. Jane, I suppose people with CF uh, need different amounts of crayon depending on their bowel habits and the amount of food that they eat. Looking at your food diary here and in discussion with you earlier about your bowel habits, um, I think we're going to go with one crayon, 10,000 for every 5 grams of fat and one crayon, 25,000 for every 12 grams of fat. Okay, see how you get on with that over the next couple of days. Mm -hmm. Put it into practice and try it out with some different foods. You know where we are, give us a buzz if there's any problems. Okay, mm -hmm. great. Do you have any questions at the moment? Um, just in terms of snacking, I, I find myself snacking a lot on like nuts or popcorn and just, I'm just wondering how much am I supposed to be taking. Yeah, it can be really difficult, especially at snacks when you're out and about. Yeah. Um, the great thing I suppose when you are out and about, a lot of the snacks have um, food labels on them. Yeah. Do you ever consider looking at those? Yeah, they're confusing. <laughs> they're quite confusing. So what you're looking at really is you're looking at the amount of fat that's yeah. in the product, okay? So um, you mentioned popcorn. I've got mm -hmm. some here maybe. Um, if you want to maybe have a look at the back of the label there. Mm -hmm. So how much popcorn would you normally eat? Say normally that would be a one box as, as such. Would you eat a half bag, full bag or? Nearly a full bag. Nearly a full <laughs> bag, okay. So you can see there that um, a half a bag would contain 12 grams of fat, okay? Mm -hmm. That means a full bag would contain 24 grams of fat. So that means if you're taking one crayon, 10,000 for every five grams of fat, how many crayon would you take for 24 grams of fat? Five, 10. Exactly, yeah. five, 10 thousands. Now that can be an awful lot of crayon. Um, so there we can use the 25 thousands. So you could use two 25 thousands instead of the five, 10 thousands. Some people find though that the tolerance of the 25 thousands can be a bit iffy. So let me know how you get on with it. Okay, yeah. okay. Mm -hmm. um, have you any other queries at all? Um, just just been thinking about this kind of like when I'm out and about with my friends and I don't want to make a, a deal out of like calculating how much I'm supposed to be taking or anything like that. Do you have any tips? Yeah, yeah actually we've got a couple of tips. Have you heard of any of the, the new apps that are out that can help with that? Yeah. Yeah, so I can go through some of those with you. Yeah, okay. um, another tip I have as well is when you're out and about with your friends, you might be going for a dinner, it can take maybe up to an hour. Splitting your dose of prion can be really useful. That way you're going to make sure you're going to absorb all the new nutrition from that meal okay we have some other carry cases here and um, that can be useful with your crayon they can be quite discreet you can pop them in your handbag or even um, my last tip is maybe when you are uh, happen to be at home you can write up the normal foods that you eat be it popcorn or your nuts yeah. or even peanut butter sandwiches or something and you can have them on your fridge and work out the amount of crayon that you have to take with them and that way you don't have to be thinking about it all the time you can just go about your day as normal okay and again if you have any queries at all you know where we are okay thanks Once I get the hang of it, and with the help of my CF team, it just works. I still have to guess sometimes, but these days I know how much to take with the different meals and different foods. I always know that if I have problems or want to talk about my Creon needs, I can call my CF team and they will help. It's nice to know they're always there.